Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Spain's angry and unemployed young men Iceland heads for an EU referendum The European Union is a last-ditched escaped artist Solar trade fight between China and the EU heats up Plus another letter, keep up the good work I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News First from our homepage, failures that are caused by living carelessly can be managed. The very carelessness of life makes the consequence morally required. Some people in every generation fail and fall to the bottom rungs of society because, well, bad things sometimes happen. Those people do not constitute a social force, but when nearly half a generation, most from middle class families, finds itself at the bottom, there is no explanation to provide solace. I think the reason things are so calm, well, occasional riots hardly count, is that no one really believes that they won't awake from the nightmare. There is a firm belief that this period will end. The denial of what has happened is not confined to Spain. In speaking to a German, he declared my view that the European system is broken as scandalous. The reality, however, appears to be very different. Almost all alternative media streams are talking about bail-ins, depositor securities, just as we predicted, and indeed Dr. Eric Edmund attested to in our own interview, the kleptocrats have failed to realise the gravity of the situation, and so further economic failures appear to be imminent. Iceland has suspended European Union entry talks after holding a referendum that is almost certain to reject membership. The tiny island's move follows overwhelming public hostility to joining the EU, with only 25% of the people supporting it, and is the first time that a country has changed its mind midway through entry talks. Oh. Interestingly, up until this point, no one seems to have actually asked the people, so it doesn't seem that unreasonable to hold a referendum. I mean, they are a democracy after all. Europe's progress towards greater unity over the past half century has always been a messy business, marked by recurrent warnings of collapse followed by compromises that fully satisfy nobody but keep the show on the road. So why is the 40-month-old Eurozone crisis any different? With the embarrassing case of Cyprus handled, won't this all end with yet another patched-together solution? The answer is probably no, and the ramifications of what is happening reach far beyond the kind of late-night settlements that European leaders have been so adept at cobbling together in the past. The crisis that started with Greece's 2009 disclosure of a black hole in its budget is broader in scope and more interconnected from what went on before. The euro crisis involves fundamental issues that European leaders skirted as the common market trading bloc of the 1950s evolved into today's highly complex machine based on Brussels with a common currency that remains a work in progress. Now, if you're going to read only one article today, then this is it. A Chinese dispute over solar panel imports threatens to escalate into a global trade war, and Washington is scrambling to help negotiate a settlement. The Obama administration has become talks on the issue with the European Union and China. The US also sparred with China over solar imports and is eager to defuse the conflict in order to avoid touching off a spiral of retaliatory measures. Tensions flared this month when European officials confirmed informally that the EU was preparing to levy anti-dumping tariffs of up to 67.9% on Chinese-made solar panels and related equipment. Now this really is going to put the cat amongst the pigeons. As we reported earlier last month, the Chinese were really non too plus about the EU slapping a trade tariff on them, and I don't think we should expect them to take it lying down. We'll be watching this as it develops. Well, more of your wonderful letters. 
Dear Administrator, I have for many years always voted for UKIP. There is no one else worthy of my vote. As far as I am concerned, this awful business of being part of Europe goes back to 1944, and France has an awful lot to answer for. The European Union does very little for the United Kingdom. They are un underhanded in everything they do, and it is costing the UK a fortune. They try to scare us with losing trade if we come out, but that is not true. Every country survives on imports and exports, and they need our goods as much as we need theirs. Your daily newsletter keeps us up to date with articles that the general news will not tell us. Keep up the good work, it is so important, and I spread the word wherever I go. The British public has to be informed and educated. Yours faithfully, Geoffrey Strong. Well, bless you, Geoffrey. What a great letter, and your words of encouragement couldn't have come at a better time. We're always delighted to get your feedback, so do keep your letters and, oh, of course, your articles coming too. Don't forget, we're always looking for interesting information and points of view, so please do get your authoring caps on. Today in our video library, given the gloomy outlook for the Euro and Eurozone, we thought it would be useful to look back at our interview with Dr Eric Edmund and take a look at how his predictions have unfolded. Incredibly accurate, I think you'll find. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>